right? And actually you open it, stem is inside, it's just like this, that lateral sulcus is here and over that frontal and from blur temporal and from lateral sulcus, this is the medial side of the lateral sulcus and this is the lateral side of lateral sulcus, from here posterior ramus, superior ramus, anterior ramus, but anyway, what is happening that in this diagram, this is your lateral sulcus which is, this is the medial side of lateral sulcus, this is the lateral side of the lateral sulcus. On the medial side of the lateral sulcus, there is internal carotid artery dividing into its terminal branches, which is anterior cerebral and middle cerebral. Middle cerebral moves laterally through the lateral sulcus, right, until it appears on the surface of, which surface? Of course, on the supralateral surface of the cerebral hemisphere. It appears here. It means, let me make this diagram more easy and digestible. So, this is the point where which artery will come? Middle cerebral. Everyone is clear from where it came? When you open this, another side there was circle of pillars, from here it was coming laterally. So, I am showing here it is come. Is that right? Now, from here, important branches on the way, number one, it will give deep branches here, penetrating branches here and here. These are called central branches from the middle cerebral artery. They are going into deep part of cerebral hemisphere. They will go deep inside and supply the deeper structures like basal ganglia. They will supply the corpus striatum or lenticular nucleus, internal capsule. You get it? These are very important branches because these are called lenticulo striatal arteries. You have never heard of them? You heard of them, right? Because they are going into deep structures, right? In the corpus striatum, corpus striatum is what? Corpus striatum is what? Caudate nucleus and lenticular nucleus. Why it is called striatum? Because many arteries are going like a stria through that, corpus striatum. That part of the basal ganglia through which many, many branches are, of arteries are going. When you make a section, it looks like there is a corpus through which multiple stria are going. So, that part of the basal ganglia is called corpus striatum. So, these are lentico striatal branches or simply central branches. These are very important because these are very thin walled and these are very long and very commonly they get occluded or blocked. And then this blood supply going to the basal ganglia and internal capsule, right, may lead to the infarction of the dependent area right and may produce hemiplegia on the opposite side of the body. Now, as soon as this artery come here or from here, it will give branches like this. In supralateral area, this is the, you can say, territory of middle cerebral artery and there is a small, this strip, this is territory of anterior cerebral artery. Am I clear? Now, so we can say in this diagram, what, I, what we will show? These are the branches of middle cerebral artery and of course, good student will not forget, what were these branches? Yes, anterior cerebral artery. Now, why it is so important to learn? Let me tell you one thing. You know, here is central sulcus. Is there central sulcus here or not? Central sulcus. Here is the motor area. This is the motor area, isn't it? Precentral gyrus. This is the precent. Here is homunculus. This is motor area for the face. Do you know? And then here is your beautiful trunk and arm and what are those fingers? Important thing is on medial side, what is it here? Foot area. Do you know this thing? I mean, if electrically, if you stimulate this area, head and neck muscles will move. If you stimulate here, fingers and arm will move. If you stimulate at the top or the medial side, foot will move. Is that right? By this diagram, the important thing is that, that foot area is supplied by which artery? Interior cerebral. And re, uh, foot and leg area is supplied by? Interior cerebral, but arm and the trunk and the head and neck is supplied by? 
middle cerebral. So if middle cerebral is blocked, then this area of the body will be weak. Paralysis of this area of the body will occur. You can say if middle cerebral artery of left side is blocked, then paralysis on the right side of the body will be there, but foot and leg will be spared. It will not be weak. But if someone develop left anterior cerebral artery occlusion, right, then if left, then right foot and leg will be weak or paralyzed, but rest of the body will not be. Am I clear? The importance of this, right, if someone has, uh, look, if I develop hemiparesis and I develop arm and trunk problem on the right side, right, which cerebral cortex is affected? Left. left. Is that right? And which artery area is disturbed? Middle. Middle cerebral. But if I develop weakness only in the lower leg and foot, on the right side, then it is left on the anterior cerebral. And if I develop problem in the arm, trunk and leg, all of them. It means both territory, but usually such extensively and kill the person. Actually, it is internal capsule because fiber from this area and this area, all of them go together down and internal capsule, they are packed together. And these lenticular artery which are going there, that is blocked. So that is still usually branches from middle cerebral artery. You, you understand me what I'm saying? You are not understanding. If you're not understanding, I will make a diagram, a small diagram just for you. This is muscle on that side. Clear lower motor neuron. What really happens? Look here now carefully. This area was supplied by anterior cerebral artery. And this area was supplied by middle cerebral. Is that right? Now look. Fibers which are coming from this part and also coming from this part, they will converge into corona radiata through the internal capsule. They will be passing like this. And from here they will cross, you know, pyramidal crossing and then supply here, right? Actually, at this point, there is an internal capsule. Okay, I will not go into detail of internal capsule. Have you studied internal capsule yet or not? Okay, then you should be knowing it. That all of these fibers converge into internal capsule. And through the internal capsule, they are going down. Now, if middle cerebral is blocked, then... F f uh, Connections from the supramedial side of cerebral cortex, they are intact, so foot will move. And if uh, interior cerebral is defected, supply is reduced, middle cerebral is working, then foot will be affected and rest of the body will be okay. Let me repeat it again. Rather, I will ask you a question. If someone has middle cerebral problem, right, then foot will not be paralyzed, but rest of the body will be. But if someone has interior